No, do, do not unpack my underwear. I will do it, Zabu. Not being pervy, just doing inventory. Who knew? Somehow you break it, you bought it applies to humans too. Zabu's still here, which ironically came in handy today with all the moving stuff. Yeah, it turns out his mom is a real estate lawyer with a grudge, so she got me evicted. Yeah, it's been a great weekend. What am I supposed to do? I, I, I he has nowhere to go. He's got no money. And and bottom line, the guild needs him for raid DPS. Worst loot ever. Once upon a time, the baby little chicken went to his mommy and said, Mommy, his shields are down, nuke his face off. And, uh, well, the mom, she said, Cluck, 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 I'm dying. Blades, get your stupid character off me. Fight somewhere else. Dude, dude, you need to use mass healing prayer instead of spot healing us like that. Obvious. Zebu, I told you to play in the kitchen. I can't. I'm cooking brisket in there. Well, how does that prevent you from playing in there? It's, it reeks of brisket, so it's hard to focus. Codex, Zabu, you're letting this illicit cohabitation affect your combat performance. Take him down. I'm about to ruin 72 cents worth of tater tots. We are not living together. I just moved and he uh, accompanied me. S smiting. Boom, kill shot, 4K crit. <laughs> Measure your EPM later. Link the loot for it, let's go. <laughs> Pink. Your face is so sweet and your tongue so sour. You know, I got some pork you can spread that sauce on. Blades! Here's the loot. Holy guacamole. Oh my god! It's the orb of Nur! Yes! Yes! <laughs> now this just got interesting. That's the orb that starts the new quest line, right? Uh huh. And once you activate it, the orb lets you change your hairstyle and hair color anytime. Oh my god! Oh my god! There's a 3% drop rate. <laughs> Just a bandy item, though. Hell yeah, it is. And I want it. I'm with Zabu on this one. I'm saving up for an item that won't shrivel my scrotum. You guys, I can't bid. I spent all my points last week on my new staff. You mean Zabu? I'll get an orb for you. I'll play online if I have to. <laughs> Adorbed. That's nice. But why don't you get online and find a job? Or a place to live? Not here? Well, I did go online. I found this new couch. It's really comfortable. <laughs> God, you're moody. I bet you're ovulating right now. Taking bids on the orb of Nur. Okay, I'm gonna do your pink ponytails first. And... Wait, wait, I, I gotta see how many points I have left. Honey? Honey? Sorry to bother you, sweetie, but uh, what should I be packing for the trip? What? You know, the trip to Vermont? Tomorrow? Your sister's wedding? The wedding, right, trip. Um, you know, just whatever we usually pack, like uh, stuff to feed them, stuff to wipe up poop, toys. That orb is mine, Clara. Watch it, girly, or I'll cut your pretty little face. Yep, <laughs> you're totally ovulating right now. Actually, you're really fertile, like the banks of the Ganges River. You laminated my cycle? Can't go. <laughs> Look, bottom line, for the price of rent, I can get a T1 line installed for us to use together. No, we are not together. How many times do I have to tell you? Wait, a T1 line? Where are those bids? I have my policies, 30 seconds. I mean, this is, you know, this is serious, guys. Wait, I, I, I had my points on a blue post-it. Damn it. Bonnie, do you want me to help you find something? No. Fiber optic cables, 1.544 megabits per second. A T1 that's so fast. Ninety-nine point eight 99.8% uptime. We can download every unicorn movie ever made in approximately 2.8 minutes, maybe 2.6. No, no, just this, no. No! There was this 
Robert Frost poem I had to learn in college. Uh, something about two roads and I forget. Okay, bad analogy. Anyway, there was a moment when Zabu's face was like this and I totally froze because I knew that what happened next could quite possibly be a horrible, horrible mistake. Like in those Choose Your Own Adventure books, I always picked the ending where I died or got somebody killed. It was just like so stressful. This was exactly like that, except lips were involved. I need to look up that poem. When's the orb? Uh, kids, let's go play in the nursery. Mommy needs a moment. What's wrong, Clara? Are you in labor again? Oh, blocked. I got perpetual smurf balls down here. I didn't get to bed. Vork the dork gave the orb to Stinky Bala. Oh, meow's time. I awarded the orb to the highest bidder within the time limit for girl rule number 24, paragraph 3, section A. Yeah, for once, Vork's ain't or attempt of bullshit is worth something. Why, thank you, Tink. Oops. I just dropped eight gigs of RAM down my pants. Zabu, it's not gonna work. Come on. I mean, you're breaking my health meter over here. What? I need to be buffed, okay? I need buffs. Buff me. Right. Okay. Let me try to explain this to you in a way that you might understand. In life, you are a starting character. You are alone for the first time in your life and you're like living off me. It is, it's not sexy. If, if we were to be together as unlikely as that ever, ever would be, you would have to do some major leveling, okay? A lot. Do you think I'm a star? I'm a starting character? I can't believe you didn't wait for me to get back online. I was pinned down. First I had husband aggro and then I had baby DPS. Procedures were followed. The guild has no further comment. Relax, it's just loot. Wait, <laughs> forget I said that. It's loot. Here, let me link it just in case you forgot the stats. Ouch. I thought Clara was the frost mage. No, I didn't get to bid. That's so unfair. Clara, the orb is bound to Tink's character now. Vork couldn't give it to you even if he wanted to. You're right. You know, I don't know why I got so worked up. It's fine, Vork. Someone will die for this. Codex. Oh my god. Your quest is accepted. I'm leaving to go power level myself and earn your love. Wait, you're leaving? Really? Don't get me wrong, you still get me as hard as an old school joystick, but you're right. You need to be at the end of a long quest chain. That's some quick turn in. So goodbye, my love. I will return. Uh, wait, wait. Yeah? Huh? Not that I'm stopping you. It's just, uh, wh where are you going, exactly? I googled a homeless shelter near Echo Park. So, they have dial-up. A homeless shelter? Dial-up? You, you can't do that. Well, what, what am I supposed to do, okay? I found out my mom canceled all my credit cards when I was trying to buy you some lingerie online. Granny painted. Everyone, tell Zabu not to go live on the streets like a hobo. I have to set forth and blossom into my manhood so I can get some. I can't be bothered by guild drama right now. I need to earn 5,000 gold by 5 p.m. GMT. Dude, that's a lot of dough. Am I blackmailing you and forgot about it? I'm freelancing to provide game gold for a fellow in Beijing. I didn't realize it would be so hard to balance it with my own game obligations. I'm way behind. You're gold farming for a Chinese dude? Is it opposite day? I need the mad money in case we go to that extortion on Cheesy Beards! Besides, the exchange rate is very favorable right now. Hey, Zabu has tons of gold. That's all he does besides obsess over me. It's true. I'm a machine for both those things. Hmm. And you need a mentor with a penis. Damn it! I think my ketchup keg is expired. Hey, Bork. Problem solved. You need a roommate. Bork and Zabu rooming together? It's perfect. I don't know why I didn't think about it before. Post-traumatic stress, probably. Vork was a little reluctant at first, but he finally came around after he got a screenshot of Zabu's game bank and two reference letters from Blades and Clara. What a weird credit approval process. 
Anyway, it's perfect. Um, they both have the same interests. Well, interest. And um, getting Zabu out of my apartment? Priceless. I'm alone! I'm gonna go run around the house naked. 17 seconds. Personal best. <laughs> No wonder I had to GPS this area. Ah, no worries. I played quite a bit of console in my day, so I know how to navigate urban landscapes. <laughs> oh, black power. Ah, and brown power. Both power. Oh, okay. Well, this is interesting. Uh, okay, okay, calm down. It's fine. I need to clean it off for you. Okay. Don't you hurt yourself. Greetings, guildies. Before you enter, I do need to sign these. Sweet. What is this stuff? Just a formality. Litigation releases, uh, non-disclosure agreements, standard procedure. To enter a house? I don't think that's standard. I require everyone. Even dates, hypothetically speaking. See? A man sets his parameters and then he sticks to them. <laughs> Lesson number one. All right. I'm blossoming already. <laughs> cool. OK. Let's get inside now. I don't usually have visitors. The last one took Grandpa away in a hearse. I'm sorry. Ah. <laughs> so this is where we can smoke pipes and drink cognac like men. <laughs> Grandpa passed away in that chair. Ah, uh, I can see why, man. It's hella comfy. <laughs> Follow me. Something wrong? This is my bedroom. If you enter it, I will immediately call the police and have you charged with trespassing and aggravated assault. Bathroom? Parameter. This would be your bedroom. Would? Per architectural design, but the practical application is not actionable at this moment. And yeah, sure it's fine. Jeez. What the hell, Vork? It's amazing what functional items people throw away each day. Rent is due the 15th of every month. 300 gold pieces transferred to my character in-game. Also, I'll need 400 pieces of ore for a deposit. 200 non-refundable. Why is there ice in your refrigerator? I don't have electricity. I find it more cost-effective to purchase ice through government-issued food stamps. You don't have electricity? Once I became a non-paid professional guild master, I had to cut the fat from life. Bork, electricity isn't fat. It's, it's fine. I, I'm, I'm fine with roughing it. Uh, I'm good with gold. Just where do I crash? Hope you're not allergic to birds. I made the usual alley rounds this morning and furnished it. That's from an alley? Ah, oh, pigeons, cool. <laughs> not pigeons, squab! Drumette? Yes, sir. Hmm. Oh my god. No worries, the majority have been tested for bird flu. <sighs> now, see, so here's my only concern. I mean, you have no electricity, so you log on how? The shed technically belongs to the house behind us, but every year I've moved my fence back three inches, and now it's completely on my property. How do they not notice? Fortunately, the gentleman has Alzheimer's and an excellent open Wi-Fi connection. Our time is over. This social exchange has been mutually beneficial. Tabu, you owe me 300 gold pieces. Yes, can do. Um, so let's say that you're a puppy and I'm finding you a new home. I don't think I would leave you here. You seem concerned. Are you concerned about me? I mean, did it work already? Should I move back in? Or? No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm Codex, stop malingering. We have a 2 p.m. raid. Feed and water him twice daily. Oh, hey, baby cakes, don't worry. You're still my primary quest line. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Search how to make a lady wild for you. <sighs> aggressive person, but I admit it. I like killing things, but only in game. I've been over it with my therapist, and I won't pretend it's not a form of sublimation. Bam! Rent check. 
die, meter maid. Thing is, I would never do anything like that in real life. I'm a strict theoretical vegetarian, so when I saw that guy fall down the stairs, most of me wanted to like, burst into tears and run in the opposite direction. But a tiny, tiny part of me was like, dude, I just own that guy. Tiny part, I swear. Gosh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Don't move. Don't move. Uh... No worries, Red. Just practicing for my gag tomorrow. You're what? I'm playing a salty pirate. Okay. Wade Way, apartment 20. Stuntman by trade. Call me Guns. Wow, stunt guy. That's cool. <laughs> I know. Gave you a little scare there. Can't say I'm sorry. I meant it played. Okay. Um, I'm Codex. No, I'm Sid. Sid Sherman. <laughs> I'm at apartment 16. Right, just moved in with your husband. No, no, not. That was, uh, that's just a temporary roommate situation. He introduced you guys as the Shermans. Mentioned flatware patterns, some kind of wedding registry. Wow, that's funny. No, no, that was just a joke. He is not here anymore, thank God. Uh, he, he's still a friend. It's just, um, well, there were some misconceptions on his part. And You're cute. I definitely don't know how to respond to that. Oh, oh gosh, I'm sorry. I've got to, I've got to go. I'm, I'm late for this uh, online appointment. No, that sounds weird. It's just, uh, it's a little hard to explain. I, I can't, I've got to go. I've got to go. See you around, Red. Sorry, everyone. Uh, I ran into a... Really cute neighbor. I'm working on a strategy to earn your love, my priestess of passion. Please don't disturb my cell loot tables. You guys, the quest to activate this orb is balls. I'm not old McDonald. I don't have time to farm all this crap. You know, Tink, if you ever need a man to season with that spice. I just got rid of one. I'm not rebounding with someone straight out of puberty, thanks. You broke up? Dish, dish. Yeah, I dumped him. He was totally smothering me. Called me like two times last week. Tink, Clara, can I see you in the other channel, please? Sure, one sec. <laughs> bye, my preciouses. Eat lots of cake for mommy. Oh, say bye-bye to mommy. She's gonna go. Clara's ready to go. Why do chicks have to talk in private like that? Do they need to sync their periods or something? Codex probably needs lady support. Being apart is, quite frankly, tough on both of us. I mean, she's totally crying right now. Stuntman? Oh my god. I was always so into Chuck Norris. I wanted his mustache all over my body. I've only pushed ugly people down the stairs. Jealous. Yeah, I, I don't normally interact with guys with muscle tone. There was definite eye contact. Is that unusual for you? Yeah, it is. Did he touch you? Did he grab the back of your head and thrust his tongue down your throat? Clara, gross. Did he? Uh, no. I, I went to help him up, but uh, he jumped off the ground by himself. Oh, like when an orc gets stunned, then bounces up to start cleaving. Oh my god, hot! Totally hot. Okay, Bork, what steps do I need to take to win Codex's love? I, I tried wiping my pit sweat on her pillow for like a week, so clearly the pheromone route is a no-go. I'm sexually neutral with regard to guild members. A position of authority is an intoxicating equation for females. I wouldn't want to abuse it. Dude, take the blade's train to success. Give her crap. Now that she's single, Tink will be all over it. Hmm, the old bag of douche technique. See, with Tink, I would just finish her orb quest for her. She's a total mercenary like that. So, I could be 400 fern brush, 62 lynx hearts, eight horror fangs, and like 300 other components away from the orange that's pressed to paradise? Yeah, dude, if only Codex were that easy. Type high five, my brother. Warning, women in general only yield short-term returns. They are not a suitable vehicle for long-term investments. Also, in my experience, very low drop rate. All I can say is have fun grinding. Oh, I will. I meant grinding for game ingredients. Sure you did. Blades! Go after this guy. Figure out the encounter and down him. I just got rid of Zabu. I'm not looking for a guy right now. Besides, he's prettier than me. Codex, you can't let reality get in the way of what you want. Yeah, like, I want to get my own orb. 
Get over it already. But it's my stupid sister's wedding this weekend, so I just told my husband that the groom squeezed my boob last summer and totally got out of the entire trip. Oh, you squeezed your boob? No, I lied. Bonus, hubby had to take the kids because they're the stupid flower girls. I'm so happy right now. You skipped your sister's wedding? Half-sister. Look, the point is lie and good things will happen. Okay, good lesson. Let's play now. Back. Let's get mommy an orb. <laughs> Clara, we are scheduled for PVP from 2 to 4 p.m. We can't put one person's loot needs above the group. But I skipped my... Right. Hey, Tink, you know, I've got dagger skills. I could help you with the orb stuff. Was that late? Do you do some of this work for me? Yeah, you know, nothing more than I do for any other smoking guildy. Meaning, just you. Oh my god, that'd be totally sweet. Thanks. What the? Ow, oh, you ugh. Someone just killed me right in the middle of the guild hall. That's so weird. Why would someone do that? Oh, this is going to be a great weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to getting hit on very much. A few years ago, when I cut my hair really short, um, this girl asked me out to dinner. And it wasn't until she got her hand, like, way up my leg that I started suspecting something was up. For the record, it did not turn me on. It just tickled. I should have shaved. Anyway, after getting used to Zabu's bolder statements of interest, I can't really tell if the stunt guy was into me or not. I should shave my legs just in case. Oh, no, that might jinx it. I, I should do it anyway, but... Being a girl is so much work. One. I embrace the tiger within me. Two. I am predator, not prey. I am the god Shiva. The god of masculinity and destruction. Okay, that's, that's enough. Oh. Yeah, Bork. The internet's basically telling me everything I need to know about becoming a man. Uh, number one, buff it up. <laughs> when Kodak sees my curves, she's gonna be enamored. Oh, man. Back when she was 12, she used to have a huge crush on Dolph Lundgren and He-Man. Now it's my turn. I have the power! <laughs> I never realized how awesome it is being a man and doing man things with other men. <sighs> Another reminder, RE colon this morning. Men only shower together if there's more than one shower. I, E, comma, a gym, not a residence. 10-4. <laughs> Besides that little bump though, we're basically having the time of our lives. 300 gold, 300 gold. Damn it! I just got killed again. I swear I'm being stalked. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Ganker, Teach for Tot, seems to know every detail of my schedule. Look, I've, I've mapped out the kill pattern on the game atlas using the Bard Nessa simulation program. Same places each time. Sucks. Hey, let's you and me go wrestle. Or shoot things. Or uh, javelin, archery, golf. It's just anything phallic, some sort of phallic sport. Men! Let's do chest bumping. Please don't, don't. Don't, oh boy. After you're done gathering my 200 blood mushrooms for my orb quest, make sure to polish off that cow homework I faxed you. It's due in the morning. Oh, you know, I could come over and deliver it into your hot little hands myself. I could bring the homework too. <laughs> Please. Ciao, Bala. What's going on? Why is Blades doing homework for you? Oh, hey. He thinks he's gonna get a virtual lap dance out of it, but all he's really gonna get is a trouser ten and maybe a best wishes e card. Tink, you shouldn't flirt with him to make him do stuff for you. That's gross. You don't wanna talk. Dangling your carrot cross out for Zabby to lure him into Bork's crack shock. He was stalking me from my own apartment. Something had to give. So you made him think he had a chance with you to get what you want. Gee, sounds familiar. No, it's different it's not but don't feel guilty about it you're done with him codex 
Men are meant to be used for their skill sets. Need to pass a biology test? Data biologist. Or your biology TA. They don't even need names as far as I'm concerned. Fred, Joe, and Ryan might as well be called moving van, pharmacist, and oil change. You just have to pick the right tool for the right job. And believe me, they're all tools. Hmm. Are you for real? Yeah. Oh, the stuntman's home. He drives a motorcycle. Go! Go! And I need to hear the whole combat log. In detail. Yeah, but we're in the middle of clearing this orc cave. The two-headed King Mangaros is right there, so... Codex. Sometimes getting laid is more important than killing an orc king. Go! And be confident. Okay, if I get rejected, what's the downside? I'll cry a lot. I'll probably do that anyway. Confident. Dude, is the cat dying in here? <laughs> Just kidding. Sorry, was that you? <gasps> ah! Oh my god, what happened to your face? What, what? Oh, my face! Yes, your face! Oh. I just got off set for my latest flick, Necrotic Fury. <laughs> Today I played the main badass zombie. Big action sequence. First I jump off his car, and the guy attacks me to the right, so I back him to the face. Another guy comes and attacks me to my left. I duck under, punch him in the stomach. Not a bond, spin hook. Then he tries to stake me, so I pull a matrix move. Duck underneath, he goes for my legs. I aerial over it, jump up, knee him in the face, start eating his brains out. <sighs> Upshot is, I get killed by a blowtorch to the face. Flick's gonna be tight, though. Awesome. Okay, well, I can't really look at you right now, so, um, you know, goodbye. Did you ever make your appointment yesterday? Oh, God. Um, I, I just have this game I play online. It's nothing important. You had an appointment for gaming? No. Oh, uh, uh, no. I didn't say that. That would be weird, right? <laughs> Pretty much. Games for fat guys who live in their mom's basements. Soft and doughy when I punch them. Right. You're so right. <laughs> My roommate's got a console, though. You should come by and check it out. I'll just watch and check you out. Oh. Ew. Okay, maybe later when I can't see your entire eyeball. <laughs> it's just makeup. Go ahead, touch it. No, no, I can't do that. Oh, come on, it's cool. No, it's a, a, oh. Oh, it's soft and stuff. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have a squeamish stomach, okay? I always have. I, I feel faint at the sight of, of really bad acne or, or raw chicken livers or people's toe hair. Ooh. Oh, gross. And it's not even a good story because I can't say I was so wasted like any other good puking tale, if there is such a thing. Bright side, at least I won't have to make room for dating around my gaming schedule. That would suck. I want to die right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Clara, thanks for the support. Oh, oh God, he probably hates me now. Why? Because you puked all over him? Nah, probably got a stiffy instantly. I've been playing for 48 hours straight. Humiliation is super funny to me right now. You're so hot. <laughs> Well, I almost threw up for real that time. Clara, you need to take it easy. You've been online for like, what, two days straight? I'm not wasting one minute of my me weekend. Besides trying to get me an orb, I got this sad project going on. Oh, sweet, chow time. <laughs> yeah, you owe me an extra 89 gold from meals, but I will give the option of trading me in-game food as long as it's level 31 quality or above. Consider it done. <laughs> uh, dude? You're getting killed right now. What? I was AFK. Have you no honor teach for tots? This harassment is neutering my business hours. Who'd want to gank you like that? I have many enemies. Starting with my seventh grade rival for class president, Kenny McIntyre, to a 12-year-old newbie who I chided for four hours straight after he killed a Yeti chief I needed for a quest turn in. Oh, heinous. <laughs> Indeed. I could use your help in scouring the grass sons of Aranor to hunt down this vengeful beast of a player. Cool. Yeah, I just finished making a website dedicated to Codex's toes, shrimpingcodex.com. <laughs> so my lady homework is done for the day. 
What am I gonna do? The only way I can avoid this guy here is to go through my bathroom window, which is two inches too small for my head. When I switch camera views really quickly, I get really dizzy. <laughs> do with me, you guys. Woo! 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 <laughs> Codex, men think with their little heads, not their stomachs. Just flash them some of that albino skin and it'll be history. It can't be that easy. I puked beef burrito on him. Listen to me. Women have all the power in sex. That's why male prostitutes don't make house calls. They don't? At least not to this zip code. Dude, get this mob off me. It's interrupting my blast. I'm trying. You're running the opposite way. My controls aren't responding. I don't understand. Oh, uh, Dad. While you're out housewiving, I remapped all your hotkeys. You were moving the total noob way. You did what? Uh. Hmm? More cleavage. I don't have more. She means get more out. Hmm? Hello? Hey, Codex. Got your digits from Zabu. So when do you think a woman is sufficiently bought and will perform sexual services? Blades? Um, I'd say you're wrong and you need to learn more about relationships. Relationships? Oh, you are so missing the point. Look, Tink wants me. It's obvious. But waiting to hit it, it's... Yeah, it's matching out my life in a lot of ways, and... Stupid! Get in. Making the hearts all crooked. I don't care. Just hurry. Her sister's birthday is Monday, so... She wants this in the mail ASAP. I don't participate in shoddy craftsmanship. Ow! Dina, ow! Mom! Ow! Use the stencil! Do it! Blades, blades, ow. um... Dina, ow, ow! You ever think Tink might be using you? Whoa! Okay, you had your chance to ride the blades train. It says we're on the phone together? Skanky. Okay, you're right. You totally deserve each other. Um, she'll come around. Just hang in there, okay? Bye. Cool. Zabu, you don't touch a man's key bindings. That's an ultimate violation. Yeah, well, don't tell me how many times I can flush a toilet a day. I can't subsidize your bowel booms. I have to get an accurate measurement to split the bill. And I've, I've had it with you telling me how to play my class. Yeah, well, fire thrust is better than reed blade, so deal with it. Are you out of your mind? That's like saying that a, a, a savings account is a better investment than a laddered CD. You are insane! Damn, it's fun to spar with you, Mara Mara, like this. <laughs> Get this much testosterone in the room and it's fireworks. Pew. Pew, pew. Codex? Codex? I need you in the office of channel now. Hello there. Hey, how's your stomach? Oh. Uh, fine. It, I'm feeling better. You're definitely looking better. Oh, ding. <laughs> So, uh, what kind of moves are those? I'm just loosening up before sparring practice. My next job's on Joust a Minute, a miniseries about knights. Oh, cool. I gotta use this polearm weapon in a dueling sequence. Well, like a halberd? Yeah. Whoa. How'd you know about that? Strangely, weaponry is an area I know a lot about. Sexy. Oh my god! <laughs> gotcha, see? Yeah, oh, that was very clever. Here, I could do it to you. No, it's... Oh! Oh. 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 Ooh. Codex, this man bothering you? Bork? Um, no, no, he's just uh, putting me ahead of headlock. <laughs> then we need to talk. Mm. Talk about an aggro wipe. And Vork called me Codex right in front of Wade, so he's probably like, what's with this girl and her alias? Is she like a, a CIA agent or something? Okay, he wouldn't think that. Would he? That would be cool, actually. The good thing is that Claire and Tink seem to be right. Guys will overlook anything if there is cleavage involved. That's not that flattering. Anyway, if I could just stop guildies from showing up places, I might have a chance with this guy. I know. Big if. Hi, Fork. Did I give you my address? 
ever? I got it from a printout that Zabu decoupage to the bottom of his bedroom squab cage, along with many unflattering photos of you and various hair samples. I don't know if you're aware of this, but he has a slight fixation. Thanks for the heads up. Can I help you? Why are you dressed like a harlot? Uh, why are you here? Codex, I'm gonna need to invoke the state lemon law. <coughs> Zabu and I are turning out to be incompatible as roommates. No, no, Fork, uh, no. This, this is a great uh, revenue stream for you. Don't just throw it all away. Let's talk this through logically. There is no logic with him. He is irrational, like a lobotomized troll. It is scientifically proven that Thundercleave is directly affected by the death reach feet. But he still denies that there's a one-on-one -on -one correlation. And he uses my hair products without asking me. What hair products? I get flyaways. Cover yourself, woman. OK, um, I'm going to go change. Uh, are you hungry? There's stuff in the kitchen. Anything you want. Anything? Yeah, so the real turning point was today when I uh... Uh, created a new character, Zabu 2.0. I didn't equip any weapons, just went around punching stuff. <laughs> Man lead. Well, anyway, I figured we'd put the gas bill in my name. And Zabu? Zabu, who are you talking to? Oh, you, my sweet. I finished leveling and I'm coming home. Home? Here? Yep. Uh, I'm ready. Poor Vork is going to be hella disappointed. We've been having this awesome back and forth about the Reeve ability. Good times with a Z. Uh, but Zabu, you, you just left a few days ago, so. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry it's taking me so long. But I've been working on myself 24-2, and believe you me, I'm totally worthy of you now. I, uh, I, I've lost three-fourths of a pound, I've studied all the Kama Sutras, I've even invented some of my own positions, including one that I like to call <laughs> the Cordy Sanchez. Cyber Sutra. Yeah, so let me tell you about the Cordy Sanchez. First of all, I can't believe I'm doing this. Keyboard, and I rub it. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Hammond. It's uh, Co Co Sid. Sid Sherman. Remember you dumped me last week? Hi, Sid. Let's just call it separated. Whatever. Um, I need help over the phone immediately. Okay, well, you just make an appointment. I'm going to hang myself with an Ethernet cord. Sid, that's not a mature response to any situation. Tell me about it. Um, anyway, I am obsessed with someone. They're not interested in me, but for some reason, it does not matter. I am completely oblivious to their feelings. So you're aware that you're oblivious? No. No, this is just a, a, a brief, lucid moment. Well, in relationships, the way that a person loves others is learned primarily through their parents. So, it sounds like... Bingo! Call waiting. One sec. Zabu? Zabu? Um, I think that you were smothered as a kid, and now, hence, you are smothering me. It's obsessive and occasionally scary, and it's a really selfish kind of love. It's your mom's fault. How could I? That's deep. Right. Back. Next question. And uh, you think that these control issues are causing... Nice frozen yogurt maker. Fork. I meant food, not appliances. You said anything. Anyway, um, I think that your feelings about this roommate, Zabu, are reflective of destructive control issues. And, um, and that I... I mean, you need to consider this uh, an opportunity to uh, something about comfort zone. Interesting theory. Are you sure I can't have the Froyo maker? Yes, meaning no, you can't have it. I'll be right back. It is selfish love, but it's still love. Damn it. Take it so much damage. Are you playing? Yeah. These ice elementals keep owning me. So vulnerable. Oh, well, I can log in and I'll buff you against elements and no, no, you have to freeze to death. Tough love. One sec. Back, so uh, let's wrap this up. I have been living alone since my grandpa died and I'm fussy, kind of like an old lady with a penis. And my a penis. Uh, well. Sid, I'm gonna take a wildly insightful guess here. This isn't about you, is it? No. I should say that this is a reflection of your pathological need to solve other people's problems while avoiding your own, but... Forget it. I'll be billing your insurance. Twice. Codex. 
I appreciate the effort you're taking to make the situation work. I've discovered some very surprising things about myself today. Namely that I'd really like a yogurt maker. But I still feel... What the? What? Official game bulletin. Inform you maintenance tonight. Four hour server shutdown. Server shutdown? Four hours? That's ridiculous. When we saw that the server was going down, there has never been a man in history so eager to escape a girl's bedroom. The good thing is, Vork dropped the whole Zabu thing and rushed home to implement his GEMA strategy. It stands for Guild Emergency Management Agency. I'm serious. I wonder if this is a sign. The server is trying to tell me something. Save me. Or just get me off the computer. Or hook me up. Not with Bork. God, no, no, that's not what I meant. I meant just, uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, I don't, I don't know what I meant. It's just, ugh, but it's such a bad visual. Order, order! Ouch! Codex, I enjoyed our us time together today, but only barely. Um, thanks? She thinks I'm smothery. She vaged out on me earlier, so I'm giving her what she wants. Talk to the handed. My interest in what you're talking about is low to moderate. I'd like to bring to order... Hey, Blades. Oh. I got some packages in the mail today. Oh, yeah? You like it? Are you deaf? I wanted the mauve purse. They didn't have mauve. There was a purpley one and a pinky one. All those woman colors look alike. He's sending you stuff in the mail now? Shut up, Codex. I'll never send you stuff. Okay, look, send it back to me and I'll get them to exchange it. Actually, I think I want both now. Can you arrange that? Pretty please? Uh, yeah. Sure, whatevs. But do you think this time I could give them a real address instead of a P.O. box? No. And while you're at it, can you throw in a couple more gift certificates too? Thanks, hero. No more interruptions. Don't make me issue citations. Clara. Are you here? Clara! Go Ravencrest High! What? As you all know, the server is going down, and we need to formulate a plan to work through this horrible time. Together. Like after 9-11? Very similar. Since this is a fixed window of downtime, I will hold off on declaring martial law. Declaring what? And I've decided to open this up to suggestions as to how we can spend our time most efficiently. Like a democracy. Reminder, this is not a democracy. Let's go to the Friendridge Tavern and drink ale. The server will be down, Clara. What? No! It's my me weekend. I want an orb. Why are we wasting time on a meeting? Without the game, there's no guild. With no guild, you are not the guild master, Vork. You have no power. I... what? I just... Well, low blowed. Uh, hey, hey, Blades. I'm working on strengthening my core via male bonding, so why don't you come over here and tear up the house with Vork and me? Yes! Blades is ready to parte! I'll have my mom drop me off. Yeah, have her do it near the burger hut down the street. Uh, it'll go over better that way. And don't wear any bandana-type clothing. Gang stud! <laughs> you'll, you'll get shot. Ooh! I wanna come! I wanna come! Guild party? Fun! No! Under no circumstances! Five people in the house? I don't want the fire marshal here! No! But I'm super fun at parties. I used to haze girls at my sorority with bungee cords and squirt guns full of mayo. <laughs> my idea. Clara, sometimes guys need to be together and do deep stuff like bonding and crap. If we have to have this game IV ripped from our veins, then we just have to use the time to man up. This is my task and I will accomplish it. Fine. Then we'll do something ladyish without you losers. Ooh, girls, let's do dinner. How about summer where we can all go to the bathroom together and pee? Um, I actually have plans. What? 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 Not that I care. Well, I, I, I just, uh, I, I want to unpack. There's so many cute things around here. I don't want to um, trip and fall over them again. Got it? Oh. You don't want to stunt, man, your growth. Why don't you just shove things against the wall? But it's a, a good opportunity to get to know the new apartment people. She's got to open her box for the neighbor. Right, no, maybe, but, uh, okay, I'm just logging off. <laughs> Ugh, what now? Codex, I won't miss you for the four hours that we are parted. Why would he punch you? 
because I confronted him about squeezing your boob. Oh, that. Yeah, and your sister's really upset too. Why didn't you tell me that you're her matron of honor? Because frankly, I found it rather rude. Hello, matron? Anyways, I have to go. Hearing your voice is making me feel really, really lonely. Ugh, two minutes of my me time gone. Oh, hi. Uh, oh, we don't need any. Thanks. What a D-bag! Leading me on when he's got a girlfriend? Grandma was right. Guys think a woman is just a life support system for her vagina. So, after I got loomed over by stupid, tall, hot girl, I ran home, logged on with Tinka and Clara, cried a little, and then when I was really vulnerable, Clara convinced me that girls' night was a good idea. And it is. Why should the boy guildies have all the fun? Screw those men people. I should let my therapist know I'm reaching out to reinforce my connection with other women. Be completed as dialed. Call blocking? Or call your operator to help you. Hey! <laughs> Wow, nice dress. I thought we were going all casual and man Haiti. <laughs> I have a date at 7.30. What? But that's like a half hour from now. Yeah, I was hoping for some more traffic. Can you give me a heads up so I can jet on time? Thanks. But I made us a low carb dinner. <laughs> I got out my scrapbooking scissors. <laughs> Ooh, scrapbooking. I'm not getting that. Um, excuse me. This is a private residence. I. This, wow, this is my address and approximately my face. So, uh, where's the brew? I have chamomile tea. Beer incoming! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Clara, did you make this? Yeah, sorry I gave you ugly face. I sketched it on a gummy high. <laughs> Dude, you made it! Uh, oh, <laughs> thanks very much. <laughs> Clara, do you know these guys? Not a clue. But the guild ladies are having fun tonight. <laughs> the boys got such a head start on us, they're probably loaded and having a good old time already. And in the third stage of encounter with the Spider Lord Garaknesh, it's necessary to station magic users at both cave entrances. Sabu, you're over here. Dude, why am I a heart? Your name begins with a Z, and you are, therefore, the last to be assigned a symbol. There was the only one remaining. The only one? There's like a million symbols you could have drawn. You gotta give me something manly, like a trident or a beard. I mean, come on, man, you're supposed to be supporting me. I'm tolerating your presence. What more do you want? Well, for one, I'd like to move my bed. It's hard to wake up to birds doing it. it kind of gets in my dreams. All right, let's go over here first. Next slide, please. Now, this is, uh, this is a whole other hobby entirely. All right, Blade signed up for man night, not bickering old fart night. Oh, pardon me for being goal-oriented but I didn't design this evening for leisure. This is a prime opportunity to refine our fight strategies offline. So get your head out of my craw. Better idea. I'm gonna hook up my console, and we're gonna kill things. And of course, I'm willing to take a friendly wager or two on body counts. Ha, ah, now we're talking testosterone. Man, these jacks back here are all jacked. Yeah, it's, it's all black and white. What the? Black and white? No way! Oh, whoa. How do you think they got the color out of it? It has antenna capability, which is the most important thing. That'll come in handy during a nuclear fallout or, or a race war. All right, so, no console. What do we do now? Oh, wait. Look at here. I've got some cards. You want to macho it up? Let's play some poker. Sure. What's that you want to log on? No, like real cards. Like actual paper. Hello? What's the advantage of that? The interface is better online, it's cleaner, and we don't often look at each other. Ditto. All right, I'll be right back. Clary, Jaws on my trackpad finger. Hi, nice to meet you. Yes. 
Claire, I don't know these people. That's the point of the party, duh. So you can get your mind off the stunt guy spitting you out like a cheap piece of gristle. And you get to meet your new neighbors, like the ones from the restaurant next door. Enrique, Jared, this is Codex. Hi. Hello. Hola. Hi. Clara, how many flyers did you hand out? Hundreds, and a spam bot newsletter. Listen, I haven't been out without a kid on my boob in the past three years. So let's take this and make it crazy. Right, Tink? Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Sure, for the next ten and a half minutes, parte. This is a great party, man. <laughs> I'm sorry I insulted your squab earlier. This place is way more fun to crash at than at Codex's. A lot less tears. <laughs> hey, maybe I can start clearing out the guest room by auctioning all that stuff off online? I could have my own room by 2012. Oh, man. Money? From articles I get for free? I like you. Uh... Dude, what, what happened to the network? I lost my connection too. What the? Where's Blades? Uh oh. Blades! These are cheese toast spell books. That's cream cheese bread. The basil represents a life bar. And the cookies, I cut out in the shape of weapons. That's a mace. Cool. You know these frosted broadswords. You know what? Clara's right. The party is working. I haven't thought about Wade all night. Well, except just now. Damn it. Well, at least I'm not depressed. I'm too busy worrying about strangers going through my medicine cabinet. Relax. All the good stuff's gone anyway. Oh my god. The stunt guy's here. And he's with the stupid tall hot girl. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I spit on you? I've never felt comfortable at parties. I just don't enjoy meeting people. Well, meeting strangers. I guess strangers are technically people too. I, I mean people I'll never see again. Or at least I hope I won't after I develop a crush on one of them and then they turn out to be jerks and they show up to my party uninvited or accidentally invited by my crazy drunken guildmate. Whatever. I'm certainly not giving them any of my healing potion punch. Maybe this is the reason I don't have a lot of friends. Huh. You got the neighbor to encrypt his wireless? Yeah, it was easy sauce. The guy let me right in. He was like acting really out of it too. He kept calling me Betty and asking me if the muffins were cool. Blades, that was my lifeline. Oh, phantom limb pain. <sighs> Look guys, all I'm saying is let's get some offline action. Now look, I got the password and you can have it before I go home. Well, just look at it this way. At least the connection will be better, less lag. Don't justify his heinous activity. This is domestic terrorism. You're going to Vorktonomo Bay. What? What? Uh, all right, Vork, come on, chillax, man. Fine. But for the record, I refuse to enjoy myself. Great, so where do you guys want to play? We got Texas Hold'em, five card stud. Stud, stud, totally stud. <laughs> Studly studs. <laughs> Studded. <laughs> That's him. With his ginormous hot chick girlfriend. He's Asian and hot? That makes you more interesting. He's got some nerve bringing that girl here who he prefers over me. <laughs> Clara, the stunt guy's here. He's in the doorway. <gasps> that ain't his face. I'll show him to reject my best friend in the entire world. I mean, Adam. Oh, he's smoking. Ooh, bike shot. I'm there! Hey, your party, right? I'm Riley. I think you tried to sell me something earlier. Oh, Riley. That's the name of one of my alt characters. Cuts deep. Yeah, we'd said you were a gamer. I was bitching. Oh, uh, yeah. His roommate's a gamer too, right? I'm his roommate. So, yeah. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Ow. Oh, I thought you were his girlfriend. Oh, no, 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 no. Just roommate. An occasional fuck buddy, of course, but mostly roommate. That I did not see coming. It is so hot to meet another girl who games. It's tight. What games do you play? Um, you know, role-playing games, mostly. <laughs> oh. I'm an FPS girl. Halo. Boom! Headshots. I'm ranked and stuff. It's truth. 
Well, I kill stuff too. It's just I wear prettier outfits. That's cool. I'm gonna grab a drink. All right. Each candy is one dollar. One real dollar that you pay up at the end of the game. A dollar? This pile alone exceeds my net worth after capital gains. I just ate ten dollars. Okay, guys, I thought this was men's night, not little girls' panties night. 96 minutes till the server's up. 96 minutes till the server's up. 96 minutes Okay, the look, look, look. 50 cents a bean, I'm okay with that. Let's just get started. Yeah, I'm detecting magic. Sack up or pack up, ladies. Just deal. Chug, 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 chug. Hey, Wade is single. Stupid tall hot girl is just a roommate F buddy. Fantastic! Go tear his pants off. Got it. Do you know stunt guy did motion capture for our game? What? Really? When an elf swings a two-hander, that's him. Oh my god, could it get any hotter? And the roommate? She's just an F buddy. It's nuts B. <laughs> but I can't approach him alone. I don't solo well. <gasps> we could be your wing women. We'll sell you good, right, Tink? Well, she has to go. Nah, screw it. This is more interesting. I thought you had a date. Not anymore, I don't. Really? Okay, yes, we're gonna do this. I'm sweating. Let's go! Three of a kind, I believe. F that! How'd you beat me? You're the street smarts of a cartoon princess. I simply play the odds. When I surmised you're going for straight that included a four, I noticed that I had three of those fours in my hand, which means the probability of you achieving that straight with that four was 1.8%. OMG, seriously? I'm supposed to be the ringer here, I'm out. But I was just getting to a portfolio level of winning. I have no money. I maxed out all of my mom's credit cards buying stupid crap for Tink. You can charge Golgon ears for the orb quest? No, no, like real crap, like purses and tuition and hockey tickets. That's why I'm playing this game in the first place. Oh my god, I'm still going to military school next year. Women. Can't live with them? They will not go out with me. I'd be happy to log on immediately and act as a mediator between the two of you in order to reacquire the objects in question. Give me the password. Hey, actually, Claire's hanging out with Tink right now. Uh, it says on her status update, Tink and me playing wing woman at Codex's. Gonna get her laid. <laughs> well, wait a second. Get who laid? Codex? But I'm not even over there. What does that mean? Trouble. When I visited Codex today, she was interacting with another male. It was akin to a mating ritual. Had they been baboons, her nether regions would have been slightly swollen and ruby red. She's pudging already? Well, that has to hurt. Holy crap. Someone's mining my ore. We gotta get over there, right now. You're driving. I don't wanna. Password. Why are we still talking? Yeah, I put some of my stunts online. That video with my arm on fire has like 500 hits. Practically viral. <laughs> Let's cut to it. She's doable, right? Um, wait, whoa. All her ex-boyfriends were gay, so she's probably a virgin. At least with a few positions. I'd do her. Not really. Um, hey, you guys, put the brakes on it. Um, um, I'm sorry, my friend is on a lot to drink. And the other one's just kind of rude. No problem. I'm used to taking a pounding from all sides. But I give as good as I get. See? Cheesy double entendre. He's in you. Yeah, and nerd girls are easy. You could basically ignore her. A little attention goes a long way with this one. <laughs> so, let's cut to the chase. When are we gonna arrange the humpity bumpy? Clara! Oh my, okay, forget it. You guys clearly don't have the social skills to make this work, and quite frankly, neither do I, so I can... Make what work? I'm sorry. Um, my friends clearly are trying to uh, hook us up. It's because I told them that I thought you were attractive in an objective kind of way. And um, it, um, it was only because we were conversing a couple days ago, which I thought was good. I thought it was a sign. And then um, I vomited on you, and, uh, which was not good. And I thought that was a sign. And then I just went, and then, and then I sat you. And then I just, I think I might have to go too. 
I hate people. <sighs> I canceled my date for that. <laughs> so, stunt guy, that's cool. Have you ever touched Chuck Norris? <laughs> uh I just own myself at my own party, which I didn't want nor organize, but still, it's just, I don't know what my problem is. It's like there's another person living inside me who has a personal vendetta against me and who can make my mouth move. <laughs> another online appointment, Red? Um. Your blonde friend's doing handstands on your coffee table. It's okay, she's limber. Don't cry. Your eyes are your prettiest feature. Yeah, definitely. Did you really do motion capture for the game? Hmm. Who knew Kodak's had so many friends? <laughs> this is how the Black Plague started. Hey, Gildies! <laughs> Clara, I just read your status update. Why are you trying to get Kodak's lead? Yeah, she's our priest. Don't corrupt her. Or at least do it with another chick and somewhere I can watch. Don't worry, she put her foot way up in her mouth and tanked it. I'm gonna have to scrape her off the carpet with a butter knife. Oh, my love, I will comfort you. I'm glad I had cause to visit this location earlier today. Had I not already familiarized myself with local landmarks, I'd be completely in the dark. Yeah, that wouldn't be unusual for you. Excuse me? Um, free food over there. <laughs> so, is this your first crazy party? <laughs> no. Plans gets invited to all the shedders. <laughs> yeah, I remember my first booze fest. It was wild. I did a lot of stuff I had to live down later. I almost got kicked out of the fifth grade. I believe I've just spotted my ride. Stay here. Have you seen Codex? 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 Useless to me. Have you seen Codex? Nothing? Uh... Yo, strawberry daiquiri. Make that a virgin. Oh, okay. If that's what turns you on, I can fake it. I have been taking acting classes. Gross. What are you doing here? Dropping off the keys to that scooter I wanted? Listen, I really gotta cut back the spending a bit. I'm kind of tapped out right now. But I did get the orb stuff you wanted. I sent that to you. Cool. So we're done here. Don't ever message me again. What? I sent you everything you wanted. You owe me naked time. Blades, just consider this a little life lesson. Some boring girls are gonna come in your life and give you everything you want. And then some more interesting ones will come along and take everything you own. I'm the taken kind. Just be glad you're young and you don't own a lot of stuff. How can you be such a biatch? My hard exterior masks a soft, nougaty center. All right, okay, I respect the ownage. After all, I am the master. But uh, do you think I can have the airline voucher back? Can't really pay for that, or any of the other stuff I got you. Wait, if I did that, it wouldn't be a lesson. Hey, you, sir, remove your tongue from my woman. Zabu? What the hell? I thought you were at Vorks running a men's training camp. Yeah, well, I thought you were not making out with other guys. I guess we're both ill-informed. Little dude, the lady liked to be here with only one man. And that man's definitely me. Correction, the lady is on layaway from me. Both of you, stop referring to me as the lady. Okay, I know what men do in this situation. I challenge you! I'll see you yonder. And by yonder, I just mean outside for fighting. Zabu, not a good idea. Can't promise I won't break anything of yours. Or his. Pardon me, excuse me, clear out here. There's a fight. Excuse me, excuse me. Sabu, you do not want to do this. My love, I was defaced in your eyes, man-wise. And I get it. I was not there in your need for sexual intercourse. But I need to avenge myself. Don't worry, I won't hurt him with my newly cut man muscles. <laughs> they are razor sharp. Fight, 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 fight,
die. Oh my gosh, this is the best party since my senior prom, when I accidentally set my date on fire and had to pee on him to put him out. We got married. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, uh, stunt guy? Yeah. Oh, so those are abs. Yeah, they are. Oh, yeah, excuse me. Guys, I need your help. Mm. Listen, I just challenged that guy over there to a duel over Codex, and it turns out he's a real-life stunt guy. Yeah, he ripped off his shirt, and it's just very clear that he's been lifting mustard for way longer than I have. Stunt guy versus Zabu? You're gonna get your brains handed to you in a paper bag. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence, dude. That helps. No, no, listen, I, I can do this. I fight stuff every day. I'm a man. I'm the man. I'm Shiva. Shiva. Six arms. Okay, not to quash your enthusiasm? Nah, do it. Quash away. I don't see your game acumen translating to the situation. For one, you play spellcaster, but as a real life human, you have no usable mana bar. It's merely just an invention of a genre. However, the gaming life bar could be analogous to your body's blood content. Conceivably, you could lose all that in a quantifiable manner as a result of a pummeling. He's clearly the fighter class. What Fork said, you're gonna bleed. We doing this or what? Yeah, see, I, I think there's a misunderstanding. I'm not really melee class. So. Oh, come on, Zabu. Your mom has a mean right hook. It's gotta run in the family. Huh? <gasps> Zabu's like a genie you can't shove back into the bottle. I mean, he shows up everywhere. Bad timing's an understatement. So, I'm in my apartment, and two guys are about to go at it over me. And why am I feeling so incredibly, uh, flattered? Oh, I'm terrible. It was awesome. <laughs> I feel so guilty. Uh, not that I mind, but what the... Gotta recalibrate. I'm too used to pulling punches for the camera. No, you don't gotta recalibrate. Oh, oh, oh. That was a good recalibration. Uh, Go! Oh my gosh, I've never been into blood and revenge before, but since I started tooling around as teats for tots, I'm like rabid for ass kicking. Teats for tots? That's a tune who's been ganking me for a week. Uh oh. Uh, anybody? Fighter? Healer? Anything? Uh, Jesus. Come on, little dude. This is a fight, not whack a mole. Okay, I'm ready. I'm doing this for you, my love. I have the power! God, what do you have, a metal chest? Come on, what uh, kind of punch is that? Oh, my thumb. The thumb goes on the outside, see? On the outside? Okay, that's a good tip. <laughs> see, my dad was a pacifist. <laughs> oh, come on! I thought we were sharing a moment, man. Clara, you're the one who's been tormenting me for days? With good reason, you robbed me of that orb. I'm horrified. I've dedicated my life to the well-being of my guild and its members. To be subject to this kind of betrayal from one of my own? Now I know how King Arthur felt when Lancelot caressed his wife's genitalia. Oh, excuse me. Stop it, you guys. Just stop it. Just. Oh my god. I'm gonna just shut up and be really still for a second. Codex, are you aware that Clara's been stalking and murdering me for a week? Bork, I'm kind of busy right now. Whatever. Hi, right, buddy. Get prepared for the wrath of the Hindu gods. Ah! Okay, so that was my one move. That didn't work out so well. I can't believe the betrayal. Am I really that bad? I've never thought of myself as a bad man. Sure, I... There was a night I spent at the Hitler youth camp by accident. Is it me? Is it her? I'm having a crisis of spirit here. Dude, don't be sad. Get even. Help, help, help! Oh. Yeah, rub it in. That's great. Oh, you're cool. Hey, I recognize that last move. He did motion capture for the game. Wait, what? The game? Oh, yeah, that was totally a fire gladiator move. Yeah, I also did the zombie monks. Oh, cool. See? You can't win. Those zombie mocks always own you. <gasps> She's right. Ha <laughs> ha.
little one's kind of cute. Everything for underdogs. I still can't get over it, man. You know, like the zombie monk. No, I totally bought that you were dead, but infused with lich were uh, Liched. Thanks, man. I did a lot of character work on that one. Yeah. Check this out. Okay. <coughs> yeah, that was money. Spot on. Used that one in that movie Shapeshifter High last year. Oh, really? Graduation scene. Fourth wear tiger to the right. Man, I love that movie. Um, don't keep fighting over me, you guys. I'm totally not worth it. She's got a point. She's really not worth it. Well, there, I'm going to have to respectfully disagree with you. Uh, Codex is a fine prize of a woman. And if you'd like to withdraw your claim, I will accept it. I'm cool. What? Cool, man. Well, it was really fun doing man moves with you. <laughs> Bonded. <laughs> you gotta look at the elbow. Never miss. Really? <laughs> You're awesome. Nothing personal. The little guy's got spunk. Anyway, I should get paid for this. But... See you around, Red. He's nice. <laughs> well, I'm sure you're sufficiently aroused by now, so I think we have a little time before the server kicks back on. Maybe we could... <sighs> Laurel. Into the bedroom, right now! Good thing I got here in time. I didn't know that feeding you all that herbal lady Viagra would have you rolling around with every neighborhood hotshot. You were feeding me what? Oh, they were rainforest herbs. Organic. Did it ever occur to you that I'm just not interested in you? Yeah, but, but, but I thought you said that if I leveled up, I could be with you. I just told you that so you'd move out. Look, I'm sorry I couldn't tell you that in a way that you might understand. What that would entail outside of a frontal lobotomy, I have no idea, but I'm sorry. I still like you as a friend. Oh, I've heard this speech a million times before. Oh, Zabu, I'm married. Zabu, I'm in San Quentin. Zabu, I'm your imaginary friend. I mean, are there no open and available women on the internet? Maybe. But I guess I'm just not one of them. Oh. Okay. I'm not gonna cry, because I'm a tough man now. You know, I thought it was different with you than those other ladies, because I didn't care what you looked like, you know? I fell for you before I even saw your face. But I will honor your wishes and leave this quest line unfinished. Guess my princess is in another castle. Finally broke it off with Zabu. Oh. Life was so much easier before we met each other. Preaching to the choir. Server's up now. Sweet. But what's the point? The guild moral core is broken, kaput. The Knights of Good should be renamed the Knaves of Hooliganism. What the hell? The character isn't showing up on the login screen. Try relogging. I did. Where am I? Blades were using that laptop earlier. What? No. No, 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 no. It's gone! He deleted my character! Two years of my life, my goal, my reputation points? I don't exist anymore! Hooliganism. <sighs> Clara! Stun guy! <clears throat> I am so glad I didn't drop my loot for you. Oh! 